So now I'm pretty sure it's going to begin uh, the stream, the issues that uh, or have begun the stream. I'm going to share links and stuff to the other stuff I use. Huh. Anyhow, before I even start any art thing, uh, there's this whole Reddit post. And uh, pretty much people got mad at this person because of this line of dialogue that somehow invalidates his whole points, which is bullshit because he's completely right and it's going to be hilarious once that uh, unfolds but enough of that, this is going to, be, oh there we go okay now I got a link and I can go ahead and kill that Okay, hello, fan of my Ruby OP? Yes, I'm going to be drawing stuff. Uh, here we go, let's do this, let's fucking do this, so here we go, this is frame 5, I have to pull up the volume 4 intro, where the fuck is it, there it is. Okay, so basically we're going to watch this shit, I mean uh, this work of art. Let's see, I was going to edit the fuck out of this. I'm too lazy to draw it. Let's see, I was on. Okay, I was on the part where they're turning around and shit. Okay. Or when Ruby turns around. Hold on. God damn, too fast. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna print screen, and basically what I'm gonna do here is wait. Oh, I already have it. Okay, good. So basically, since these three assholes, I mean characters, are too tall to me to put into this, I'm going to put them in here as a... Uh... And how I draw these is I make sure the characters all resize and shit. Or whatever. And basically once they're at a certain size on the image here, I can then go and begin my beautiful artwork. So let's lower the opacity here. And let's uh let's call this the line art layer. Now what I Oh, I don't know what's going on. No. Cancel. What's going on there? Okay. Anyhow, now then let's go uh, start with uh, whoever's in front. I think it's John. John, okay. Now since John's a uh, character I can't fucking stand, let's uh, make him as ugly as fuck. Okay. So first he's got really big cheeks. I don't fucking know what he's doing here. Let's give him like gopher teeth. And he's got a lower jaw. Let's put his eyes like right there. It's gonna look like Chuck E. Cheese or some shit. There we go. And uh, his hair. I think his hair is like like this. I don't friggin' know. I don't even care. I have a reference right in front of me, but I'm just not gonna give a shit. Here. It, it, it's, it's John, okay? I don't even know. Oh yeah, since that's his... No, I think I'm gonna give him a no, really big nose. There. It's it's John. John Arc, everyone. Um, let's see. He's kinda tall. Let's give him a really disproportionate body. Like make him look like a dick or something. I don't fucking know. There. And it's done. He's a he's a chemical flask or something. trying to draw his body. So he's got like a sort of a armor thing, I guess. But I'm just going to make it really exaggerated and just not give a shit about making it look good. 
since you know this is this is art. He's gonna have like make him look as dumb as possible. So here, he's gonna have more legs too. He's he's not even a human anymore. He's just some sort of uh, gelatinous alien. Here, let's give him his feet. His feet are gonna be like uh, blocks or some shit. Who knows? There. John Arc, everyone. The the main character of Ruby. He's got like okay, and then he's his armor's weird. It's like it does this eh, thing, and then he's got like a central like I don't fucking know what this is. Now let's give him like squiggly arms. And why not? There. He's our main character, ladies and gentlemen. Truly the finest hero of all, Remnant. As he uh, cheats his way into Beacon Academy, he gets away with it. Let's actually give him like an actual hand here this time. By that I mean, uh, there, that's his hand. Perfection. He's got like a shoulder pad thing here. I don't really give a shit. There we go. Okay guys, it's, it's John Arc. There, he, he's done. Look at this beautiful, quality masterpiece. Oh, make it make him a smiley face. Okay, um, it's gonna be a uh... there. There we go. And then uh... I think that's that's good enough. There, he's got like a bird thing. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking care. Uh, okay, let's go on to Nora. And since uh, Nora's like the best character, she has to look the least ugly. Which in my terms means actually the most ugly. So let's make her as fucking horrible as possible. So first of all, Nora, she's got like a hair thing there. It's gonna have like a hair thing there. A hair thing there. Eh. I already kind of did this with John. I should actually try something different. There we go. She's gonna have like bug eyes and shit. I don't care. There we go. And she's got like a flat head on. Th yeah, she's got like a flat hair thing. She looks like a mushroom almost. She's got like a pizza head now. There we go. Okay, and then she's gonna have like an actual like skirt and shit, just just to make it look even more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like her thing goes to her elbows. Okay, gotta like, retain at least some semblance of accuracy. I guess I really don't know, but uh, yeah. And then Nora's gonna just have like blocks for legs. There. Done. Nora's done. She's beautiful. Let's actually clean this line up a bit. Uh, yeah, the issue with this uh, style is that you have to clean up each and every line. That's a pain, but whatever. It gets results done. Anyhow, the idea with this shot is that I'm gonna have them like slide into the frame to give the emphasis that it looks like it's zooming in, but it's really just the 
image moving forward, moving closer. Okay. Uh, here's this last bit here, then I'll work on Ren. I don't like keeping too much time on a single character. Alright, Nora's done. Alright. Let's check the comments before I move on to Ren. Leave Ren completely unaltered this uh, the whole thing. He'll stand out more. Okay. I'll, um, if that's the case, I'll just... Uh, Is there a way to... Huh. Give me a second. This is actually pretty tough. So, let's... Let's just select around Ren. Oh, jeez. This is not selecting as much as I want it to. Oh man, I have an idea for like the uh, villains part when they're like, oh, uh, here's the four main baddies, uh, uh, big, strong, quiet fuck, uh, really poorly written crazy fuck, uh, Prince Zuko fuck, and uh, bootleg sass master fuck. That's right, it's, uh, it's Team Witch, right? It's basically Team Witch. And right now, it's not advisor friendly. Been demonetized for too dank. I guess so. Uh, anyhow, still selecting shit. Okay. Uh, I'm also gonna need to actually uh, keep the colors on this, so I can cut and paste them onto the characters. But right now, paint size is just freezing. Which sucks, to be honest, but whatever. Anyhow, these people... Wait, I can't even pause that. Yeah, my career's been having horrible issues as of late, so, uh, yep, yeah, it's shit. Everything's freezing now, yes. This is what happens when you work on Ruby, everyone. It just cripples your software. Oh man, even Task Manager is not responding. This is great shit. <laughs> I should really get a new computer. Okay, so... Task Manager's dead. I don't know what this HP wireless assistant thing is. I keep killing it and it literally gets in the way of all the software shit I'm doing to do. Like it actually sucks up a pretty big amount of memory. I think killing it actually helps clear the Wi-Fi stuff. So Ren's got this like backpack thing. I don't even know. It's a cartoon? Oh. Uh, you're giving me Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> Let's see. So, anyhow, that bit's selected. I pretty much got everything around Ren for the most part. The issue now is, uh. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to leave Ren untouched. You know what I'm going to do in the video editor? I'm going to put a friggin' horse head on Ren. That's just going to be his thing. He'll just have a horse head every single time you see him. He'll be completely fine. He'll just have the beautiful horse mask on him. It's going to be great. Okay. So since I've just about done selecting Ren... Okay, let's go select all this other crap.
Okay. And I think that's it. Okay, let's cut. There, copy. There we go. So the reference is back up. And now I have a copy of Ryan. Okay. Now here's where it gets fun. We're going to actually add the colors now. So let's put... Actually, why am I doing that? I merge all the stuff anyway. Uh, so I turn off Ren, and then I go and start picking colors. So what I do is I go into the center of the picture, and I just pick the whatever's the best color. But sometimes the characters are just so pale that their skin color is shit. So I aim for something like as similar as possible. And he'll turn off that and uh, color difference. I think it's all image or working layer. Oh, I see what's wrong. Okay. So there's this bit right here. And this bit right here. That should do it. Yep. And uh, this bit here. Alrighty. Now we have Nora's hair. Her beautiful hair. It's got like really bad skin lesion. Who cares? There. And she's got like these things. And is she like just legs? My god, I couldn't imagine wearing stuff like that. I'd be freaking cold. Okay, she's got like a pink skirt, a dark top. And doesn't she have like a white shirt underneath? Yeah, she does. Oh, let's turn. Okay. Now her teeth are going to be actually white, so I have to do that. Alright, there we go. That's a lot better. Let's see how it looked. There, it's impeccable. You can barely tell the difference. Truly, this is a stunning reenactment. Or remake, or whatever you want to call it. Turn off the colors there. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. I'm not even going to bother with the, uh, the, the details there. Those are irrelevant. And for a jaw, let's. or mouth. And perfect. It's done. Nora's done, everyone. She's beautiful. And now the F5 stands for frame 5 because that's the fifth shot I've animated. Whereas like the other ones with the uh, the orbs or spheres flying around, I actually have an idea for that animated. Uh, so that's going to be freaking terrible when I finish it. Shut up, Norton. Okay. Uh, reading the comments now. As the weapons is a past Metal Gear. Thank you. How many people are even watching this? 11 people are watching. Holy shit. That's a lot of people. Okay. Uh, so Nora's done. Uh, yeah. There's there's no difference between these two. It's, it's fucking beautiful. Uh, let's go on to Jean. Who looks like he just had an aneurysm. Okay. If only the actual thing would get an aneurysm. That'd be the best thing ever. That would make my week. So his arms like, um, he actually has like some armor shit. Shit, I forgot to draw that. Whatever. Let's just roll with it. He's just going to have black on his arms because he's edgy. 
Uh, turn off that. Oh, okay. So his hair is like a uh, a potato shade of blonde. It's not even a real blonde. It's not even a real character. Oh shit! He now he looks like a a burrito. I don't even know. Okay, there we go. Sweet. He's he's strapping. Uh, what else does he have? He's got like. Yeah, it's like a dark bit there, but I'm really not going to bother drawing with that. Or coloring that in. Oh, shit. And now his boots. Glorious. He's got like jean pants. Eh. There. He's got like a red sash. I'm just going to put MS Paint red. It's funnier that way. Actually, you know, I do like the more realistic shade. Let's go with that. Uh, let's see. He's got like a, a bluish tint for his armor. But whatever. I don't care. Here we go. Next up is his skin. But it's like way too fucking pale. So let's make it something that can stand out. He's got like retarded eyes and uh, he's gonna have buck teeth because it's John and he looks beautiful and he needs a hand yeah all right everyone this is this is a uh, record setting uh, performance there there we go, it's it's Team Ruby everyone. Would you look at that? And I have actual background for that. There you go. Look at this. It's truly impeccable. Uh let's see. Read in the comments. Oh yeah, no, if you're lagging, um, uh, that's probably because of me. Make his eyes skin colored. Let's actually try that. That's a, that might be a good idea. So what I'd have to do is, uh, let me actually, oh wait, I have to undo the, uh, the merge layer then. Give me a second. Okay, so if I make his eyes, like, skin colored. Holy fucking shit. He looks like a fucking. <laughs> I don't even know. He looks like a. A, a soulless pile of turd. I mean, more than he already is, but like, he's, he's kind of extra dead. I think I'll actually keep it that way. Let's see if it. Let's see, there's that. And then there's that. Uh, this looks lazier and more horrible. I like it. Alright, on to the next frame, I guess. F5, John. F5, man. And basically, the idea with this now is uh, I actually do want to draw the background for this particular shot. Uh, but I don't think it can fit on this one. It would have to be uh, from this one. So I need, oh yeah, I need to color Ruby in. This is Ruby, everyone. Isn't she beautiful? Basically, this one's for the uh, shot where it's like this, where it doesn't matter uh, if a character's full body is in the shot. Because sometimes I'll need an image to slide in. It has to be the full body. I don't want any parts cut. And so that's what this is for, for, you know, full body shots that most, some of it's not going to be on the camera. Other parts are. But this is where I don't really give a shit. And uh, Ruby's fucking beautiful. Uh, yes, you're gonna have nightmares, and it's gonna be glorious. Let's see. Uh, Ruby. Uh, let's go color Ruby in first. So, let's turn that off. Alright, let's take some colors from here so I can keep some consistency. 
Okay, that's that's her cape. Is there anything else I'm missing? She's got like a band thing there, but I didn't bother drawing it. Okay. So it looks like the rest of her is just turd colored. Like what is this outfit? It looks so weird. It's like they try to make it as difficult as possible for cosplayers. And yeah, she's got like a dark fart now. And boop, boop, boop. Next up is her uh her hair even like looks different now. It's kinda sad. And uh there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a stunning work of art. This belongs in the Louvre. Now her hair is actually kind of tricky. This I actually do uh give her the gradient because I think it looks pretty cool. And then what I do with this is I copy this layer. I change the uh brightness down to like negative a billion. And then with that, I just go in here, lower the eraser to like 5%, and I just uh, do this. And there, you have, you have the uh, ruby hair effect. And it looks kind of decent. Let's see how this looks. There, there we go. Okay. She's like, what's up, everyone? Uh, my face is falling off. Uh, can I please get some help? Everyone just doesn't care because they're too busy uh, moping about Kira. Or letting John hog the screen time. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to save this real quick. I'm going to switch back to comments. Alrighty, since that's saved, let's save this too. Now since, uh, I might actually just pull it up on YouTube, because Windows Media Player sucks ass. Uh, Ruby Volume 4 Intro. Let's pull that shit up. Uh, it was over here, I think. Turn off this episode one shit. I'm not gonna watch the first episode. No one cares. Okay, I had an idea for this bit here. I'm gonna print screen, and then I'm gonna paste this shit straight into uh, here. Uh, since you know, I don't give a shit. I'll make the background look really good. Let's call this uh, F6 ref. Now for uh, frame 5, wait what, okay that's the actual reference point. So I'm going to turn this shit off. This is my reference here and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually draw the background real quick. Basically the idea is to Draw this as quickly as possible, not care about making it look good. But I do want to have at least some consistency, so if you like play back to back with uh, hold on. I'm going to do a new layer because I don't trust my own shitty art. There. Basically the idea is to actually make it look a little consistent with the uh, intro, but not so much that I don't know. Uh, new layer. And here I'm just gonna put some shit. Oh wait, there's some trees there. Then here I'm just gonna do eh, eh, and then finish the rest behind that. Okay. And basically this way it looks like the actual intro, except. 
whatever. Okay. And she's got like some trees there. I guess. And they have some branches too. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be like, eh. Wait, did it not work? Okay, it did work. It just didn't show up. There. Eh. There, the trees are done and they're gorgeous. Nailed it, everyone. There's like a little bit right behind here. Um, looks kind of like, let's go with that. Oh. Oops. And, uh, yeah, the background's done. I fucking nailed it. There. There we go. It's beautiful. Did I even use this layer? What is this layer even supposed to have in it? What is this? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. I didn't need that. Anyhow, Ruby. And, uh, frame 5 BG. Here. It's Ruby, everyone. I don't need this reference anymore. Oh, okay, I can kill that. Basically, what I do with each trims, I just dump it in the finished frames pile and just move on. Here we have a Ren, Nora, Ruby, and John. Since I'm really lazy, I don't really want to crop Ren out. That's going to take way too much time and would look okay. So I'm just going to be like, okay, here, let's do this. So Ren's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a stick figure. Along with uh, uh, Ruby and Pals, I guess. Nora's gonna be pink. There. Eh. This is budget, everyone. This is how you manage your budget. If you're trying to make an anime, definitely do it this way. This is the best way to make an anime ever. He's got like some feet here. And then John, John's gonna be a uh, uh, really uh, gelatinous thing. It's gonna be like a snail without the shell. It's gonna be a slug. That's it. Here, there we go, everyone. It's 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 John. He's got like tentacle hands too. Okay, there. It's Team Ranger, everyone. Yep. Uh, how would I change the Volume 5 outfits to be better? Um, I wouldn't. Uh, how would I change, uh, let's see, best trees. Yeah, don't forget about the, uh, don't forget the grass. The grass is like the best part of Ruby, don't you know? They, uh, they even said it themselves in the, uh, commentary. Ah, uh, I don't like this. So this shot, kinda, hmm. Okay, I know what I need to do for this one. This one actually requires, uh, do I even want to edit it? I'll just... I think I know what I need to do. For this one, I'm just going to copy this. And... Literally just paste it. And then for the actual, you know, background here, I'll have a layer where it's... done a very specific way, where it's going to be... I did this with the uh, Volume 5 intro, where I had just a separate layer and stuff. So where it was like this. And then uh the idea is you want to just have everything up and then have the uh 
What's this? What the hell's that? I guess I'm I guess I messed up on this. Hold on a sec. There we are. Much better. But basically, this thing what you then want is eh. is like So my idea is to I'm like losing my train of thought, but I don't really give a shit. Uh, you want to have it so it's at least kind of accurate, and I don't like it when it's, uh, I have to cheat, but whatever. I put more dedication into this shit than they probably put into, like, a single episode. Each stroke is worth everything. So basically we have a bunch of trees here. I'm just not going to give a shit about drying the rest, or maybe I will. There. What I'm gonna do now is take this, uh, put a bunch of leaves and shit. Uh, it's too bright. Uh, too bright. There. Okay. And behind that, I'm gonna put another layer of shit. See, this is gonna be in front. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And there's the background, everyone. And this is going to be used to, uh, this will be used to cut off the, uh, this bit here with the path. I'm actually going to edit it and angle it so it looks different. So this is. Frame six. So, and then it's like it go, cuts to crow, right? Or there's some there's a retarded bird that cuts to crow. I don't need this anymore. Kill that. What the hell is this thing that transitions in the way? I don't even fucking know. So crow's here. He's he's posing. He's got his scythe out that will. You know what's funny? It's freaking scythe form. We never fucking see this shit in volume 4. He just does not give a fuck. But uh, there was a pretty good reason for why he didn't use it. Because it's a slower weapon. And that actually makes sense. And I think it kind of like... I think for, actually for this shot I might put it in this one. To be honest. Let's do that actually. Since his his shot kind of like pans in a way where it's uh where he actually has like different parts of him in and out of frame, so I may want to actually draw the rest of his body and have it pan the same way so it looks better. So for crow, uh, I'm gonna do the obvious. I'm not sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Snow, Snowy Silva. I'm gonna steal this shit for a moment. And, uh, let's select. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. That's, that's theft. Let's steal, uh, a picture. Here, I'm just gonna copy this. Paste. And, uh, let's see how far this goes. <laughs> okay, uh, flip horizontally. Let's shrink this. Perfect. Oh. Hey guys, everyone, look, it's Crow. He's the, uh, he's the true main character.
Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I fucked that up. Uh, okay. And he, uh, he's kind of like, I don't friggin' really know what he's got. He's got like a collar thing going on. But, uh, yeah, it's Crow. There, everyone. It's the character. He's beautiful. Then I'm gonna actually draw behind that. So let's. He's got like. Eh. It's gonna have like a little blob body. Uh, let's see. And he's got like these shoulder things. I don't like give it two shits. Uh, eh. Actually, wait, no, I'm I'm fucking this up real bad. I'm supposed to actually line this first. I'm forgetting half what I'm supposed to do. Must be Miles creeping on me. Anyhow, he's gonna have, like, bird hands and shit. And he's gonna have, like, a bird hand holding that. He's gonna have, like, his collar thing there. Alright. Basically, when I line stuff, it just looks better on the uh, video than when it doesn't. I think it goes like this. I really don't know how his outfit works. It's gonna have like his cape thing too. He needs a scythe, most importantly. So let's give him like a. Uh, let me give him like a hand out of the scythe. That's funny. There. Eh. I like have a giant toothpick. Okay. And uh, it's Crow, everyone. Look at this beautiful bastard. Let's go look at the cons again. Uh. Okay. So now then, pretty much what this is, I have to erase stuff to make it look good. Let's take that off. Now this part I'm going to actually fill in. And here with the, uh, the scythe or whatever, I actually have to erase bits so it looks like it's on the hand. I don't want me to put on some music because I'm kind of kind of bored. Here we are. All right. So now that we got Crow done, I think he has like black pants or something. Yeah, he's got black pants. So I'm gonna add to his body here a little bit. Since we're not gonna actually see this part here, uh, it's, I can just make it extend as far as I fucking want. And he's got. I think his sight's got like some bits to it. Where it's, uh, I think it's broken into parts or whatever. Yeah, there. Now he's like a, looks like a toucan almost. Perfect. So I cut that. Cut that. Or actually, no, he's a bird. He's gonna have a. Okay. So that's color. He's gonna have like a human hand, just cause I can do that. This outfit's really weird. I think it's yeah, darker inside and lighter out coat. 
turn that off. Okay, and his his coat is or cape is like red. He's got black pants, so let's get that color. Let's brighten that a little bit. Oh, what the? There we go. And uh, let's make a scythe like. Fifty shades of potato. Right. Okay, and then I'll just steal that. Okay. okay, guys, it's Crow, everyone. There we go. He is gorgeous. Truly a uh, strapping individual. Let's make his background though, because I like to have. He's got like two trees behind him, too. Huh. There. I don't think we ever actually see his feet on the cliffs or anything. Uh, yeah, you can link songs if you want. So let's kill that. Uh, what else does he do? Oh, there's a bird that flies out. And we have wide. He turns around. I'll have to draw two different frames for this. I don't like having to do that. Especially since it's another background sliding image. So let's kill that. Let's put Crow into frame 7. I can kill that. And basically I'm just going to dump all the files here. Now here, we have Weiss being a bitch as usual, and uh, I mean uh, reading books like a good person. And with Weiss, uh, let's see, I have it. Uh, yes, there we go. This is what I use for the lining. So Weiss is going to be reading a book. She's going to be turned around. So I'm going to basically. Make a blob out of lice, cause why not? Eh, she's got like a ponytail shit going on. Whatever. She's gonna be like really, like, fat. I guess I don't fucking know. She's like tender and shit. Just like the alien she always was. There, and she's got like a she's got like a weed in her hand. Actually, you know what? This looks like a dick. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Let's have her have her hand like holding something. She's got like three fingers. So she's an alien after all. Is it like her middle finger, like part of the dress? I don't get that kind of outfit, but whatever. It's Weiss. She does what she wants. And she's going to be holding a uh, Doritos bag. Oh shit. Save. And uh, yeah, once that saves, I can pull it up. 
Let's see how bad the performance doing. Performance is doing 50%. Uh, okay. Let's go open that up. Cut. And perfect. Okay. There we go. This is top-notch editing, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, now Weiss actually has some interesting things to her outfit that I'll add. She's got this overcoat thing. And she's got like these bands around her. And it becomes like a dress. It's it's really bland. Like she's got like the worst outfit out of the four. I feel bad for her. <laughs> she's already a character I don't like. They made her worse. So let's have her. Okay, she wants to turn around. So let's actually give her some depth here. Now, Weiss is a uh, interesting weirdo. Let's give her color. Is that actually her color? Holy shit. That is her hair color. Hey. Let's fix that. Maybe. And I'll check chat in just a little bit. Weiss is like super, super pale. But, eh. Uh, let's see. She's got like a blue earring. Yeah, it's kind of. What's the point? Her, her design is just so. Oh, this for volume 5. Like, I like keep the uh, old one. The old one was nice. I mean, it was a combat skirt and it was freaking worthless, but at least it looked cool. Or her uh, her Volume 2 one. Yeah, that one was really good. Oh, yeah, she's got the Shinny logo on the back. So for this one, I'm actually going to kill that. And see if there's a... What I can do with this. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Then I'll just rotate it, distort it so it looks like it's part of her outfit. There, guys, it's the wheat, it's the uh, Schneed family logo, everyone. Yep. Weiss is truly the worst character. You can barely tell the difference between these two. Uh, F8 Weiss. And then she's got like a really long background here. So for this one, do I even really want to draw it? Like, should I draw it? I'm going to ask the chat. Sacred Moon, Kingdom Hearts 2. That's a pretty good song. Uh, stressing those snowflake. That's solid. Oh, Volume 2 is not canon. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, poor Coco. She got uh, retconned so hard. So for this part, I'm actually going to be really sloppy with the background. So I'm going to keep it content. In order for this panorama to work, it has to be a certain ratio or size or whatever. And uh, 
I'm basically gonna compress I'm gonna compress this down a bit so I get the right ratio. And then oh what the not just okay. Let's move this there. Selection, invert, and then with this I can go and do some fun stuff. Uh, she's got like a really boring bookcase full of boring shit. There, it's the curtains, everyone. And then she's got. Oh, she's got like some white window panes or some shit. So let's add those. And she's got her bookcase full of dumb books that she won't bother reading ever. You'd think she'd, uh, she and Blake would have more of a thing considering how many books she has, right? But nope. Uh, let's go add random. Hmm. Do I even want to add the bookshelf? Because that's like way too much budget. I'm already on a low enough budget as is. Just look at this glorious masterpiece. Uh, let's actually do something differently. She's got her bookshelf full of worthless books, apparently. And let's go add. Uh, I have like rainbow themed books. Fuck it. It's it's gonna be great. Uh, it's all in MS paint colors too. There. It's it's done. There. There, everyone. It's, it's Weiss. The best character. And then we actually have to turn around and shit. I know, right? It's them for the one episode, the Volume 2 outfits. It's like, why bother stealing them? From, uh, oh, this guy understands. Uh, let's see. So, let's say it's gonna hit play. So she turns around, and I'm gonna give her the most butt ass ugly face I can think of. Because that's what I do. And yeah, Weiss is a. Uh, yeah, she's a thing. Kill that. And then since the image keeps like sliding and shit. Oh, it does look like there's a bit more to it. Whatever. Why is it still gonna be holding her weed? I'll have to keep that up then. So Weiss turns around. Let's give her. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Weiss. Look at that. She's gonna have like a even a little ponytail thing too. It's got like she's gonna have like her tentacle arms still. Uh, 
Okay. Now here I'm gonna erase. There we go. Now, what should I do about the face? I'll actually ask this for the audience so they have something to do. What do you guys want me to do with their face? What should I do with the uh, with Weiss? I can let you guys decide what you want. Okay, let's add the colors now. Let's actually turn on F8 and steal that. Alright, now what do you guys need me to do with this? Let's add. Um, Not honestly though, which tra which intro is the uh, the worst one? Right now, I think it's actually uh, it's Volume Four's intro. Volume Five is pretty bad too, though. There's just so much standing. Oh, okay, so. It said, poker face, super tiny eyes and nose. Okay. I'll aim for that. Uh, there we go. Okay. So this is her nose, but let's actually make it her eyes instead. Right. What the? Oh yeah, this this could be her ear actually. Let's give it more emphasis on that. 
make that the blue part. Alrighty, there we are. And it's Weiss. She is strapping. Oh, eyebrows. Um, eyebrows. Does she even really need eyebrows? Does this look like the kind of face that needs eyebrows? I guess so. So we can make her like, uh, senpai, why you barge into my room? Or we could make her like, Or we can make her like I don't even know what this is, but this is fucking horrifying. Let's, let's keep it. Yeah, there. This is this is work. I like this. It's wise, everyone. Fine, right, this is F eight. So we don't even need that. All right, so that's frame eight. Let's go into frame nine. Frame nine basically looks like the same as uh, the other frame, except this time it's just three different sliding images. You're gonna have uh, Klein on one layer, Whitley on it, or Shitley on another layer, and you have a background. It, it, it's the simplest shit to animate ever. So for a Klein, we're gonna give him like. Let's see what I can do with this. So, so I don't like his big head. I really don't. So let's. Can I can I select that? So let's fix that <laughs> by uh, yeah. It's gonna have like a really tiny neck. It's, um. There. There we go, everyone. It's Klein. And for Shitley, well, let's select his face. For Shitley, let's. Nope, shit, this is on the same layer, isn't it? Uh, deselect. I, I kind of don't get what's going on. But uh, let's paste that. Uh, let me turn that off. And figure out what's going on. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. There's a little bit of his uh, of Klein's head there. That we don't need. Anyhow, since Hitley's, Shitley's got like head stuff going on. Uh, let's make him like his head really small. <laughs> then I'll just edit out the rest in Photoshop. Or here. Uh. He's got like a painting thing. Don't care. There, it's it's done. <laughs> no, I I'll actually redraw. Um, I'll redraw these. Uh, Whitley is basically a volume one Weiss clone. You know what? You know what else did nothing wrong. Uh, world's greatest dad. Uh, this guy did nothing wrong. Nope. Nothing at all. He is completely innocent, and no children were harmed uh, during the making of that series.
So I'm actually gonna unedit this real quick. Okay, so let's actually start drawing these two. These two, basically with Klein, I'm gonna make them like really fucking fat. Because why not? Uh, let's put this to Okay. So Klein, he's gonna be like smell like elf ears too. He's got like a mustache too thing going on. It's gonna like a trapezoid triangle thing. Now I'm gonna leave his eyes because I'm gonna do something with it. It's got like hands. like dicks. I just stopped giving a shit the second I started to stream. So he's gonna look like the hunchback from Notre Dame. And this part's not gonna be even in the camera shot, so I can actually just leave it like that. Whereas Shitley, Shitley's a bit different. He's gonna have a uh, His hair is like really stupid. A new uh, laptop tablet. But uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. His arm, he needs to have his arm and actually finish. And okay. Let's turn off the uh, line work layer and see just how terrible this is. Oh. Okay, everyone. This is uh, Shitley and uh, Klein. But yeah, I chose a smaller line art for uh, Shitley because I feel like it'd be. I don't know. I feel like it'd be better. Like, more emphasis on, like, distance. Dick hands. I right, gotta go. Bondred's the best dad. <laughs> what are you talking about, Celtic? He he did nothing wrong. Those orphans had what was coming to them. Uh... Oh yeah, all the characters lack the uh, all the characters lack character. That, that's the uh, integral part of Ruby. They don't have any characters. They have uh things that do nothing. So let's, uh, what do you guys want me to do for Klein here? I ha kind of had an idea of him just having, like, really dumb cartoon eyes. Like, like that. And the idea with him was that I'd have rainbow uh, filter effects and stuff, so his eyes were like a rave party. So why is the best character? Yes. So basically here, uh, Klein or whatever his face is. See, I actually have the same color pants. Oh my god, he does have the same color pants. That's really fucking dumb. Uh, he's got like a brown mustache. I do not like his design. He's got like patches of hair too, so let's add that. Wait, is that a skin? That's a skin. Whoops. He's bald. Hmm. 
Oh my god, he looks like the, uh, um, he looks like, uh, Sinestro from, uh, uh, Green Lantern. Fuck, what have I done with him? I even Sinestro deserves to be in Ruby. Oh. But, uh, yeah. He's gonna be holding, like, a tray thing. Let's add that. Okay. And for Shitley. Shitley's got like perfect white hair, I guess. He's gonna have these are his teeth here. And he's like one pale mofo. Not that pale. Okay, that's better. Anyhow, this. Okay, he actually has hand stuff. Okay, I just forgot how his outfit works. Eh. And yeah, he's got like the dumbest looking outfit ever. All of them have pretty. eh, outfits. There, he looks like he's wearing pajamas or some shit. Eh. Eh. Oh, wait. I fucked that up. Okay. There, everyone. It's, uh, it's Klein and Chitley. Mm hmm Perfect. You can see the resemblance. What do you guys think of Yang? Uh, she... She's oh Yang. She's pretty turd like. I don't know how to describe it. I just don't like Yang. Oh he has like a suit thing. Oh fuck. I'm just gonna leave it as his undershirt there. That's 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 Whitley. Uh actually these should be on two different layers. What am I doing? There we go. And now for the background. Which is basically just a giant friggin' blue wall with like a painting thing in the corner. Like, you ever notice how uh, most of the shit in the show, like, most of the backgrounds, most of the settings or whatever, they're just, they're stage pieces. They're not even, like, an actual, like, setting. Like, her mansion, it just looks pretty. Like, Menagerie, it just looks pretty. There's no soul behind it. It's just a bunch of schlock put together. And then you'd call it a setting. Like, Menagerie, there's so much shit they could have done with that. They could have made it a slum. Uh, that would have been a really good example of showing the fauna suppression that never fucking happens. But they fucked it up. I shouldn't turn off Shitley. Okay, there we go. So this is going to be like the painting thing. This is the room itself. Let's see how that actually compares to the real thing. Oh, and it actually has a gradient, so let's copy this. And I'll make a dark version of it. Brightness. Slower that. And then with this... And that way it looks like my background has more depth than it really is. It's just two colors. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I watched uh, Volume 5, uh, Episode 8. 
I forgot. I forget all the dialogue. The dialogue is just so boring. So much exposition dumps. Like, you know how you do an exposition dump? You friggin' deliver it naturally through characters saying things, and then we pick up on what they're saying. Made in Abyss is really good at that. And that's why it's probably one of the best shows out there, because it doesn't waste time. Well, actually, that's not true. There was a secret camp, but other than that arc, it was only like an episode. Besides that, uh, Maiden of this is good about not wasting your time, because there's always something happening, and it's so good because of that. Uh, what's this painting supposed to be? I'm actually going to look at this. What the fuck is this? Do they just have a painting of clouds? They just have a painting of clouds. Who 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 <laughs> Who would have a painting like that? What kind of dumb moron would spend millions of dollars on a shitty painting? Okay, actually no, there's a lot of morons that would do that. Never mind. Oh what the fuck? what's this? Well I didn't know I had this tool. This is kinda cool. Whoa. I didn't know I could do that. Looks like a sort of a laser effect. That's so weird. It looks kinda like the uh um what do you call it? There's there is a certain looks like a globy effect. I actually really like that. Whoa. Now my uh my art's got mold on it. Shit. I don't have to throw it in the yard waste now. It's so actually, you know, let's have their painting be a, just a bunch of mold. Because they have such shit taste. There. Let's turn that off. Okay. Let's turn the, uh... Let's turn Shitly off. And I'll turn the uh, mold back on. And delete it there. Uh, okay. And uh, I guess this is done. So we're on frame 9. Let's go into the next shot with Jackass and uh, Ironwood. What's Ironwood even doing? He's just standing there. And this zooms in on Jack, I think. Yeah. Zooms in on Jack. Jacques. Is it Jacques or Jack? Because if it's Jacks, he's a jackass. Uh ha 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 ha. No. But no, these. These backgrounds are so boring. They're like if I drew them. Like it wouldn't even take me very long. Let's go. Let's go copy this color. Let's go copy this color. And let's see how close I can replicate this background without using this background. So first of all, brighter color is the wall. And with this, watch as I replicate this shit. Where did I put it? Ah, uh, wrong color. Wrong. Wrong. I know I have like a flowers one here. Oh look! Look at that, there we go. So which one's better? Okay, it's the first one. Okay, guys, look, I did the background. It's fucking perfect. Look, I, you can barely tell the difference. Let's lower the opacity on that. Let's draw a door. <laughs> These backgrounds are so boring. 
I guess that's why it's like really easy to replicate. Or whatever. So it looks like the whole thing goes like this. And you have a door going up like that. I guess that failed. Uh, why is this so small? Okay, and then for the actual door, he's kind of got. There we go. Excuse me. So basically with this we've got the background done, which we can turn up to that. See, it's it's just so accurate. Look at that. It's like there's nothing even missing. Besides the floor. Which I'll add. And look at that, done. It's it's honestly beautiful. And he's got like this bookcase here, but I'm not gonna bother with the details on that just because I like drawing the characters so much. So he's got this bookcase thing that pretty much goes all the way up. Uh, let's. I think it goes like that. Right. Does this actually show up on the screen, or will it show up? On the screen? I want to make it look good. No, I don't think it actually shows up. Okay. And why is this kind of a turd and it explodes? There's so much standing. Each of the intros are just standing. And then it looks like they're talking. It's, it's like... Where is the interesting shit happening again? Like, the previous intros all had some amazing action. Like, uh, Volume 1... Or, vol no. Volume 2 was the best. Volume 2's had shit going on. It was fucking amazing. Uh, let's read the comments, because I have not been following them for a little bit. Uh, FMF, blah blah blah. Uh, sounds good, blah. Yeah, it's only a cartoon. Yeah, you can watch it on, uh, um, uh, Kick Ass Anime or whatever it's called. <laughs> Iron wood. Uh, yeah, I'm checking the the chat there. All right, so now we have Jax and uh, Ironwood. Now Ironwood, I'm actually just gonna draw a lump of iron. So I actually don't know what the fuck to do with him. He's, his design's too complicated. So I'm just gonna draw a giant block. And then have like a little beard thing on it. Let's add a little thing here. Give it that sheen that it's, uh, you know, it looks like iron. There. It's iron wood. Next, we have, we have Jacques, whose shoulders are so broad that if they were any longer, uh, his arms would pop off. It's got like this blue tie thing, so let's go, uh, oh, I have to line first. I like drawing straight into the coloring part, but for Jack's case, let's make him, uh, let's make his shoulders really long. I mean, really, really long. 
because I hate how long his shoulders are. I mean, this is actually one of the problems I have with uh, Ruby. The shoulders are way too fucking broad. It, it, I don't like it at all. It just does not look anatomically correct. So. Uh, eh. He's got like some buttons here and a and a boob pocket. I think I think I nailed it. Let's look. Yep, nailed it. And then what do you want me to do for his head? You want me to like put Colonel Sanders or something? I don't know what else I need to do with uh his head here. I mean, there's the uh, there's the Colonel Sanders. All right, let's look him up. And then I'm gonna paste all the while it's saving because my computer's slow. Uh, this outfit's so boring. Oh, it's like they uh, decided, how okay, how can we make our douchebag as uninteresting as possible? And then they designed Jock, and they're like, yep, this is a good character design, everyone. It's, it's honestly uh, a little obnoxious. Now he's got some buttons on here. Let's check that real quick. What color are they? Oh, they're like gray. Actually, that's, a little, that's not standing out enough. There we go. Okay. So now we have jocks, and then we have... Uh, this so let's go cut his head paste it. should I just leave the logo too and everything I don't even care there we go we have ironwood I actually I don't like this now that it's uh I see it his shoulders are way too broad let's go fix that okay there we go now we can see ironwood that's a lot better okay guys I nailed this I'm gonna save it real quick Rick Sanchez with a mustache I could make his mustache bigger. We can try that. If uh, paint will side would load, because now it's freezing. Angel's eyes frozen for now, because I tried to save. So I'm just gonna look at chat for a bit until it unfreezes.
Kill that. Okay. So now we have iron wood. Oh wait. We need to have a wood part to iron wood here, otherwise the joke is flat. Like iron wood. So let's give him like A hat, I guess. Hold on a second. I have returned and I have food. Oh yeah, Ren is the Ren is the best character. Except then he uh except Miles made him the deep one, and then he became the worst character. Poor Ren. Anyhow, wise, she uh, she has a temper tantrum and she explodes. That's the reference. Knock it. Basically, why she's kind of a turd. This background should be really simple. Let's go. Let's do the background real quick. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? After I like draw all this shit, what do you guys want me to stream like afterwards? Because I'm pretty much going to be here for the entire day. Or if not, I'll do this tomorrow. I don't really have many options on my uh, shitty computer. Right, what the? There we go. Okay, so now we got that down. The issue now is uh, the bars. So let's copy that. Okay. There we go. Background's done. There. Truly amazing scenery. Now, what does this background do? Oh, it actually pans down and shit. Fuck. actually want to get this shot for the background my bad 
Nah. I guess I can try to salvage. Er, that was really easily done. So let's kill. Er, let's paste this. Because I actually do like to edit things really good for some things. Like this one. This is an example where I can actually do the full. Wait a second. Wait. Are her curtains transparent? What's the fucking point of having curtains if shit can just be seen through them? I got curtains at home and these that shit actually blocks out all the sunlight. What's the point of having curtains that are see-through if you don't have curtains that block out the light? And you know, she's got like this really reflective floor. And she's got this like glowing background. I think I'm just gonna stop giving a shit at this point and just like actually just rush to make this. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. I mean, the other one I did in uh, over the course of two days, uh, six hour sessions of just drawing. I have to say though, the song for uh, Let's Just Live is probably one of the weakest. I actually don't understand now that I think about it. Most of the show is just standing and talking for the most part. No one really does anything. How do people find this so interesting? I mean, the fight scenes for volumes 1 and 2 are what really got me into Ruby. And that was its only redeemable factor, but now that it's you know, those are not going to happen again. It's kind of sad. But again, good fight scenes cannot really carry a show anyway. Uh, merge that. Merge that. And okay, there's the background. There. It's got like two little things here. Now, why is she's standing and talking? Shut the book owner. I mean, yeah, the trailers are like amazing. I mean, even in like the volumes like one and two, they weren't as good. Is 
that run a little bit? Yeah, that's okay. Now Weiss, Weiss kind of goes from, she does that, she goes up, and she goes down, and then she does that thing, and the screen shatters. So, I'm going to actually do just the three basic poses, where she... Okay, yeah, I got that pose. So basically here, the background will basically be shifting around while Weiss changes through the poses. I did a similar thing on the B5 intro. Edit. My name's Weiss. I own dust and shit. Smoke. Smoke weed every day. There we go. It's perfect, everyone. Yes, the stream is still going. Oh god, a picture of Sean and uh, Cinder making out? Or is a picture of a uh, decapitated Weiss and Ruby and... Uh, decapitated Weiss and Ruby and Cinder making out. So why is this going to be like... And she's got tits. Wait, no, Weiss doesn't have tits. She's flat. There. She's she's got square boobs. Uh let's see, she's got like a boob window. I actually don't like that. It's like literally just two inches away from a nip slip. Nip slip. Uh but if I draw the boobs then it looks too big. Like, if I just, even if I, like, add a sight line, it looks like she's suddenly got tits. But, eh. Eh. And uh, she's got this like kind of coat thing. I don't know what to describe. It's like an overcoat, but it's not really a coat. It's it's a thing. It's separate from the uh, main thing or main outfit. I don't know. I know what she's got, and uh, this band thing. Alright, now I'm actually going to leave the next frame 
up to the audience. Or no, I have to have it down. When she's like this, I'll ask, I'll ask you guys uh, what pose you want. Because I literally just don't care for this one. But this one is a must-have because it's the build, one of the build-up shots. So let's have a hand there and a hand there. Her hair is going to be a fucking mess. It's going Super Saiyan level 3 here. Here she's like taking a shit. I don't even know. Okay. So that's done. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, what pose do you guys want? Let's see it. Uh okay. Yeah, everyone's got like a boob window. Uh, Ilya's a character. Pretty sure Tumblr's like flipping her shit about Ilya. I mean, they flip about shit about just about anything, but it's Tumblr. There guys, it's it's There we go. Oh, it's got like a scar too, that's right. Why is everyone? Wait, does she not have her Give me one second. Does Weiss just not have... I'm actually going to double check this. That can't be right. Oh, he does have it. It's just really faded. Oh yeah, I like how Blake's standing there. And then she teleports to the boat. And then Gira breaks. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with Gira's face? What the fuck what frame is this? What the fuck is this? I'm, I'm fucking saving this. Give me a second. No, no, this is getting a new document. Uh, 1,800. I'm pacing this shit. Fuck it. His face here is just too beautiful. He's like, yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> and then Kali's like, Hi, everyone! Let's go uh, fix her face real quick.
there, and then Blake. Uh, Blake's. A normal person. With, uh, normal things. There we go. This one should be the highlight of the stream. Yeah, I thought Kali was like, uh, not her mom. I thought it was like someone related, but not. Actually, you know what? I didn't even think they were her parents the first time. I thought they were like unrelated people, just happened to know Blake. But then, uh, they retconned her orphan story. I shot like a boob window. Fuck it. Boobs. There. It's Weiss. It's got titties. Monster titties. The biggest titties of all. See, I actually want her pose to be. Okay, there we go. That's. Okay. Uh, she's got. She has, she has like actual boobs now. Never noticed that. Let's actually move the boob window. I don't like it. Okay. Let's add the boob window, but make it better. Her boobs are literally just like about to fall out, though. Poor Weiss. There we go. She's flat. There we go. Twice I fixed you. And now boobless. And Weiss has got like this is gonna be a lot smaller line art. So Adam Weiss has got this band thing. I don't understand what the point of it is. Is that like where she ha hangs on a burnt master? Now she's got her skirt. And then legs. I'm not even going to really bother going into detail with. And there's Weiss, everyone. Beautiful. See, her, her outfit's so bland. It's just arm cover, uh, dress. That's it. Nope, nothing fancy. No armor. She's just basically fighting in a dress outfit. I need super big boobs. Oh, I guess so. So let's fix Weiss here. It's no, not it. Okay. And. 
I don't like her feet here either. It's a little bit better. Okay. Now that Weiss is done, let's actually color these. Wait, what? What the? Oh no, don't! I did fuck it up, didn't I? Hold on a second. Let's copy this. Cut. How bad did I fuck this up? I did it on the same layer. No. Ah. Uh, well, I can trace it, kind of, but it's not going to be the exact. Oh, that makes me so mad, though. I hate it when that happens. When you draw everything on the wrong layer. This is actually pretty simple to redraw. Dang it. You know, I should make this an upskirt shot for a six slick. You know what? Eh, you're angled up there. It's a panty shot. Some panties. It's beautiful. Anyhow, uh, I should add a little. Bit. No, I think I'll leave it. It's, it looks lazier and funnier that way. Low budget for the win. Anyhow, let's look at these one by one. So we have Weiss. She's uh, screaming autistically. She then goes Super Saiyan. And then she becomes a piece of ice cream. Seems legit. I gotta go? Okay. Make her legs buff. Oh, you're, you're right. I should do that. That'd be great. Especially since I'm redoing it after all. Make her legs like really buff. Okay, give me a moment to. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna give her like the most buff ass legs you can imagine. Holy shit, these, are these even human legs? She's like. She's like fucking thick. I don't even know what to describe this. It's just like I'm. I feel so bad for her. She's got like uh freaking trees for legs. That's because she's wise. She doesn't know what food is because it's all served to her by her uh, butlers and shit. But, uh, my god, that's horrifying. Let's go pull up the color scheme real quick. And let's add the colors.
think that's a neck thing. What's that? Oh, it is actually part of the. Okay, I messed that up. So it is actually part of the this thing. And it's like a blue. Why does she carry valuables on her combat armor? What's the point of having a gem? Uh, so she's got teeth and let's. All right. So how do you guys feel about the, uh, wait, today is Friday. How do you guys feel about the new episode tomorrow? What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Make Blake invisible to show her relevance in the show. Uh, but Blake's going to be like the most ugly one. She's got to be the ugliest one. So here we have Weiss screeching. So she takes some of the colors directly from here. Anyhow, Weiss is like so thick she could crush a building. Uh, let's see. Set. I think that's part of the uh, band thing. And then her hair is like white. See how that looks. Perfect. Okay. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Art. Now Weiss also has colors here. So let's fill in the white first. And then she's got like an ice cream cone head, so. And the boob window. Okay. And, uh, ta da. What are her shoes actually? What the hell are her shoes supposed to be? Oh, they're actually the same color as the dress. Why? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, to be honest. Uh, yeah. She's, uh, she is taking a shit. She's taking the most massive dump of all time. It's making her go Super Saiyan. Well, she knows Super Saiyans take a shit, and they get super powerful. Same logic here. Uh, so she's got these dumb looking boots. It's got literally the worst character design, I think. Or the most boring design, not the worst, but it's just, uh... But yeah, now I got... Here we go. This is what it looks like in my version. Glorious. Oh shit. Uh, paint tool side froze again. So we're gonna have to wait like five minutes for it to come back. How's everyone doing today? I have to leave? Oh shit. Well, uh, you have a good night then, uh, Legendary Marston. Tomorrow I'll, uh, do a stream again and finish this crap. 
I'm probably gonna give this stream another like 24 minutes and then I'll end it then but uh, every ruby opening that is the idea except I don't feel like touching volumes 1 and 2 because those are two actually kinda good only the volume 4 and 5 one because it's actually no the volume 3 one is one I definitely want to do because that one is ugh. yeah <laughs> beautiful okay snap frame 11 done I can kill that we can go on to Blake yeah, so you guys, what were your ideas on that? So Blake's on a shitty boat. Should I make this like a giant dong? <laughs> Do I even need to draw a boat? I could literally just be like... There. There, it's a dick. It's fucking glorious. Yeah, it's supposed to be sharp enough to cut into uh, uh, Blake's bitchy ass ego. Let's see. So it's supposed to be a boat. Let's be really lazy with it. And Blake's just gonna be stick figure. right here. I nailed it. Oh, dang. Just look at that. It's a boat. And let's just, yeah. It's got some, like, shit, too. I was gonna say I have budgetary issues. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, it's got this bow thing. Darker colors. And that's the boat. That's the entire shot, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the stream totally. Oh, wait, wrong layer. Uh, layer copy. Filter hue. Let's make this. Uh, 
Okay, now this, I'm actually gonna. Make it look good. At least make the sky look good. I don't know. And look there, it's it's almost an exact replication. Look at that. It's it's stunning. It's it's perfect. On to the next shot. Which is, I think, of uh, Blake being a bitch and. Eh, uh, forget the advice, uh, ads. I don't even make any money off my YouTube. Angry Blake Wyatt, what? <laughs> oh my god. Big fat anime titties. Oh my god, and son? What the fuck? Wait, wait, what the fuck was that frame? I need to, I need to pause this real quick. This is, this is memeable. I'm actually just gonna take this and. Uh, So then leave, literally leave this in the editor. Let's see. It says, okay. And that's that frame. There. That's all I need. I mean, look at this. This is like the face of hell itself. Oh, son, he hasn't gotten a new outfit since volume one. And that was the volume he was introduced. No, oh. son. So Blake's just kind of standing there. Oh, this is actually a lot more drawing than I expected it to be. I don't like that. Like for the volume 5 intro, I pretty much just stopped caring. But this one actually looks like it requires a lot more editing than I thought. So let's see, Blake. Blake's got to be the ugliest ass thing here. So let's uh. There we go. It's Blake, everyone.
exactly that white fang scum. Instead of no, I want that right there. There, it's Blake. Blake, everyone. Yeah, this is much better than just having nothing. Because she's literally autistic cancer. <laughs> Let's see. Minimize that, minimize that. Okay, now where do I begin with coloring Blake? Uh, I don't like her outfit at all. Well, uh, she's got like a bare midriff thing going on there, right? Okay, that means I'll have to take that color then. And her tongue is going to be like purple because fuck why not uh, let's make it there and this is like a weird shade of gray oh I forgot to color a bit Frame is this even? This is frame thirteen. Uh, okay, so we have sun. I'm just gonna actually leave this frame here. It's funnier that way. Uh, but the background. Is the background actually. And what does not differentiate? Okay. So, I mean, I can just. Let's see. Wait, did the. Wait, 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 hold on a sec. Did the camera just pan up, but then, like. The background didn't. What the the the, the background does not budge. It pans up, but the background doesn't move. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? And then we have Yang's, but Yang's is actually gonna be really easy. It'll just be Yang sliding and Tai Yang sliding. And then they never address this PTSD shit ever again. I think. Maybe. I don't really know. To which Yang this falls into. Oh, yeah, more sliding images. Look how relevant Fennec and Corsic were in this volume. They weren't. Let's see. Like this whole sequence here. This whole sequence here. Give me a second. Standing guy one. Standing lady one. Sitting guy. Standing guy. Standing Rudo. And then they're still standing there. More standing. 
And this part would be fun to animate. Especially the Blake face. I'll make it really ugly. And then, you know what I'm going to do with this? With this stupid bit here, where John's in the front, you know why I'm putting him? I'm putting him where Ruby is. I'm putting Ruby where John is. Because that will fix everything. Oh yeah, there's this bit here. Let's actually uh, put this in slow-mo. And see just how the transition works, because I'm not sure just yet. Oh. Oh, would you look at that. This is actually a kind of editing that I'm not good at. So, it looks like... The bird just angles it just right. So that hmm. yeah, I have no idea how to actually edit that edit things that way. Is that like a green screen effect? How does that work? I don't freaking know. But basically, this is another image where it's standing still. You make them pan down. You just have the text Ruby fade in on a background. It's just three layers. Four, no, three layers. Three layers of shit. And that's it. So I'm actually like a third of the way there. Uh, I actually don't know what they're on. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Hollow Bastion almost from Kingdom Hearts. Because it's all the blue ground there. It looks like they're standing on a uh, or they're floating. I can't tell if they're actually standing on it or not. But it looks like they're on some sort of ice. Or, like, who knows? It's an opening. There's no logic behind it. Especially with, uh, uh, this, this asshole right here. You know what? Since I'm gonna end the stream at 8, my time, let's pull up something amazing. Uh, what was it? Uh, Blake visits her her stupid family. Now I'm gonna link this in the chat real quick because if my stuff freezes let's put this at normal speed. There we go. Let's do this. As soon as everyone Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity among four lifelong friends who- Get out of right here, man! Shit, I'm saying! Where'd you fucking go?! And that's it. Now back to uh, editing shit. Okay, so so far it looks like all it's in for the background is just this railing, the C. So that should be really, really easy to do. And you have the railing, which is literally just 
a couple of lines. There we go. And then uh, let's copy that. And er. Oh, okay. And there. Let's make this distinct. Okay, and then let's go layer. Copy. Filter here. And with this, let's go in here. Turn that to five, I guess, or four, whatever. Let's make an actual sky here. Okay, there. We even have some kind of clouds, I guess. Don't know, don't care. Let's use no texture, because I'm lazy. There. And that texture's done. There. It's fucking beautiful. I nailed it. There. You can just see the accuracy. It's, it's stunning. I mean, look at that. It, it, it's almost incomparable. I don't know. My power level, uh, it is, it's floof. It's. Okay. So, Blake's done. Sun is done, and uh, that's we've got like the 40 seconds here before I end the stream because I need to actually do some stuff. Uh, any suggestions like you want to do in the comments, or like for things I want to do in the later shots, or what do you want me to do? Actually, you know, I might not end the stream. I might just switch to doing something else. Because I... I'm probably going to be goofing off on my games and shit. It's just a pain for me to draw stuff. For like... Hours on end. Like, I'd rather be uh, doing some game shit or something. So, what do you want me to do? I'll write this down, actually. Here. Uh, do a 666 joke. Okay. What else do you need me to do? Leave a blank screen. Play a crappy rendition of the theme song. What else? I mean, basically... Uh, the uh, whole thing is just basically redo the int intro as shitty as possible. And uh, I think I did a good job with Blake here. She's beautiful. shit online game. Make like a cat. Okay. Alright. Adam in the corner. Well, Adam's still in the intro. I mean, he shows up uh, at this part. And this part's gonna be the stupidest thing ever, because I'm gonna make Blake extra ugly here. 
Wait, wait, hold on a sec. What the? What the fuck? Hold on a second. Let's put this at zero point something speed. What did he just fucking do? So, he's swinging his sword. Blake's got her hands raised. Like, look at this shot. He is actually cutting into Blake here in this shot. But then the next second we see her, she's not, she's okay. How the the fuck? What? Oh my god! Ah, oh, fuck this. Uh, I don't hold scene holding a gun that's a set end. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Give me one moment to write that down. Uh, because I'm gonna switch off into like StarCraft and shit. Uh, but let's see. Okay, uh, draw. uh, draw Adam Mantua eyes. Okay, let's cancel that. Miles is John. You want me to paste, uh, you want me to paste, uh, Miles' head onto John after I sideline him in the background? Because I'm gonna do that. Maybe I should get like a sad uh, Miles head because he's sad that he's not in the front anymore. But now for the rest, I think I'm just gonna make up whatever the fuck I want. Now first of all, let's save this. I'm going to save the other stuff. And then I'll go pull up uh, StarCraft. Where is it? Blizzard up. And Fatal Cyphros again. Yay. Yeah, Blake's face here just looks like one of confusion. Like this is not a this is not a terrified face. This is like a huh face. It's like RT can't even do emotions or lip syncing right. And then her face. It's, it's, oh man. And why? What's the point of this pose thing? Like they made her do this pose thing in volume like four and five. Wait, wait, what, what the fuck? Wait a fucking second. Wasn't she's just by the window in that shot, and then she does this, and she's not by the window anymore. What the fuck? What the fuck is this bullshit? No, no, you don't fucking do that. What the? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's see, Nora's hammer's all glowy and shit. That Grim. Okay, let's watch this Grim for a second. So, here's Nora smashing this Grim. We have, keep an eye on the Grim in the background here. Uh, this guy. This asshole. Literally does nothing but run from this point to the next point. 
He literally just runs in for no reason, and John just kills him. He's not even running at anyone. I mean, he's going straight in one direction for no reason. This asshole Grim just, just charges for no reason other than to be there for Jean to kill. What is the point? And then, no, Jean's gonna be out of the way. Fuck Jean. Okay, I'm just going to write this stuff down. This is beautiful. Oh, why is teleports yet? What was the point of posing on the rock? The same uh, reason that there's Ruby being pointless. I don't know. Uh, okay. So now I'm kind of done drawing. I'm like literally out of the mood. Because it's a pain. Uh, but, so I wrote down your suggestions and stuff. I'll make sure to implement them. Uh, I've got them all right here. So, I'm actually going to double check and save this. Save as. Kill that. Now I'm going to save this. And basically close Paint Tool Site. Uh, then I'm going to switch to StarCraft. Pretty much I've gotten better at it, so I can make the uh, gameplay a lot more entertaining than just, oh, build up defenses, attack. Oh yeah, I also have uh, this thing here. I want to actually send this to the chat real quick. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty funny how this person's post, which is completely valid, mind you, it's it's a great post. Uh, but people replying are just mad that. Uh, this person says Miles can't write because he really can't. I can't write either. Uh, what do I think about Adam Ruby? I don't really think about ships. Period. Uh, ships are not not my thing. And this is oh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna save this file. Save as. Where the fuck is this? Uh, save as. Uh, fuck it, what's it called? Uh, none. This. I already saved. Okay, close that. Okay, and let's do this. I can kill that. And uh, I'm gonna actually kill this too. Oh shit, it's going full screen. I'll have to fix that. Okay, there we go. I don't know if it's recording in full screen, but I'm not going to risk it. Options, take this in the window. Because I don't know if anyone can even see it. Ah, 
Okay, there we go. Let's move this so I can see what's going on, chat. So I think I finished the Terran campaign here for the most part. I finished the Protoss one. I haven't started the Zerg one yet. Let's do this shit. Uh, blah. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Oh shit, that's right. These sunken colonies aren't being affected by anything we hit them with. I'll bet there's one of those cerebrin critters popping up full of energy nearby. So basically the idea with this level. Since I switched out from Paintal Side to you know, Starcraft. Yeah, overall, how was the art stream part? I mean, I have to say that was a lot of fun. I'll do another one of those later, but for now I'm just going to play Stark Rep. Oh shit. And basically with this level, there's a uh, sort of boss called the uh, Taurus Skew or whatever. That asshole will basically shrek my base. I need to make shit. So yeah. Oh yeah, do you got who wants the uh who wants the uh, link for the software I use for the paint site? issues with this level is that you're surrounded on all sides by uh, ground killing enemies or ground killing buildings Yeah, one of the major issues with this level was the fact that you don't have much time left before the Taurus skew attacks. I mean, the Taurus skew is gonna kick my ass when it shows up. Oh, the link for Painter Saw? Yeah, let me uh, pause. Oh, what? Options. Okay, there we go. So I have the link on here somewhere. Okay, let me actually find that real quick. I do have a link for it. Give me one second, though. Uh. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Cause so I have a uh, I have a notepad for it, but I don't have it pinned. There we go, okay. Well, let's see. And kill that. Kill that.
Uh, StarCraft? Oh, um, well I can do that for you. Basically, StarCraft is a game that came out in 1998, and, uh, it's hella balanced. It's when Blizzard was good. Basically, you, there's three different races that have different balances and shit. Like, how things are built, how things are gathered, etc. Things that there are units that build, units that attack and stuff. It's all in real time too, so it's an RTS. Uh, let's have these guys go in there. Let's make some more Marines because I'm not gonna last long. It's a Torsku. And I mentioned the Torsku. The Torsku is a uh, it's an enemy that's an ultralisk that uh basically screws up my base good. I'm gonna have this guy build another one right there. Torskins. I guess so. They kind of are like Taurus, now I think about it. Alright, so that's full. You require more polons? Yes, I do. I need additional supply to pose those since I'm not playing as Protoss. Ooh, this guy here. Now, like I said, there's gonna be a, uh, a boss that comes up either like five minutes from now or ten minutes from now. I don't freaking know, but either way, he is a asshole that will slaughter me. However, if I recall right, the AI is horrible. So if I play it smart and I have like a single marine in a single spot, I'm gonna have this guy to make it real quick. Basically, my, the idea with it is you have four different of these supply depots. And the Torskew is stupid and will try to aim for one of these guys. We'll be standing in the middle and won't be able to kill anything. Oh shit. Uh. Shit, heal. What are you doing? Heal. I'm getting fucked. Nope. Oh god, no, no, no. No, no, fuck. Nope. Fuck this. Nope. Supply to pose. Fuck. Fucking Zerglings. Bullshit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is literally not fair. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> This is not fair at all. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything. There's like no way for me to get around that. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's restart that. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's Starcraft for you. Oh yeah, the voice acting is good enough, so that's all you need to know. I mean... 
like really good the voice acting is. Now I guess one of the issues I have to do first is very quickly make a shit ton of marines. And then a bunch of medics to go with that. Let's build an academy so I can actually make those medics. Very quickly focus on minerals this time around instead of uh... Gonna go and check out my other vids? Okay. Well that's cool. I think I might actually end the stream here at 3 hours exactly, just because it's cool that way. And this game. I think that'd be a better idea because then that way you guys can do other stuff. And I can just focus on this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was nice uh, having the stream. Options. Okay, well, thank you. Have a good night, all.